Traveling to Australia guarantees you'll see some fascinating species, whether you're hiking through the outback or navigating Sydney's bustle and noise. Australia is a lovely land with wonderful fauna, from wild canines roaming beaches to foot-long spiders hiding beneath the refrigerator. With animals being so distinctive, it's hardly surprising that some have come to symbolize the unique nation itself. Don't miss getting to know at least a few of these while you're there. It's simple to have a wildlife experience that is enjoyable and pleasant, for both you and the priceless animals, thanks to strict animal welfare laws in place for all tour operators. The tour companies that make up Australian Animal Journeys provide amazing wildlife encounters for an immersive experience that focuses on conservation efforts. Your experience will be memorable in a variety of ways thanks to small group sizes, skilled interpretive guiding, and a dedication to safeguarding Australia's distinctive biodiversity. Indigenous cultures in Australia have a close connection to the land and its creatures. Animals serve as nourishment, carriers of wisdom, cultural totems, and seasonal guides. Through the eyes of an Aboriginal guide, learning about local fauna adds a level of comprehension not possible in any other manner. Discover Aboriginal Experiences offers distinctive wildlife experiences that highlight the relationship between culture and the natural world. Here are a few not to miss out on, the indigenous creatures of Australia. Kangaroo. The kangaroo is Australia's most recognizable mammal. Although these adorable marsupials appear gentle, this is Australia. Red kangaroos may grow to a height of just over 5 feet and have razor-sharp claws on their hands and feet. A group of kangaroos is referred to as a mob. They can kick hard by boxing with their hind legs and leaning back on their strong tail, which is occasionally required to fend off dingoes. With their large, muscular hind legs, kangaroos can gallop at speeds of up to 35 miles per hour and can jump up to 25 feet in a single motion. Even while the red kangaroo is the most well-known, there are also smaller grey kangaroos, whose fur is a slate grey with a blue tint rather than the tawny red that is so well known. Grey kangaroos live in forests, whereas red kangaroos live in plains. Koala The koala, another marsupial from down under, is renowned for resembling the most cuddly sort of teddy bear. However, these grey fuzzies have a reputation for being a bit grumpy and very lethargic. They snooze for almost 18 hours each day and consume practically constant amounts of eucalyptus to achieve their two-pound daily need. Koalas can grow to be just over two feet long and weigh about 30 pounds. Their thick, woolly coat is either the traditional gray or a reddish-brown color, and their muscular limbs make them ideal for dwelling in trees. Due to their keen sense of smell, koalas can distinguish between the 700 various varieties of eucalyptus that they like eating. Tasmanian Devil the Tasmanian Devil, one of the tiniest warriors in the animal kingdom, is on Tasmania, an island state off the coast of Australia. The Tasmanian Devil will consume up to 10% of its body weight in a day and will eat nearly any flesh it comes across, despite not spinning in a cyclone and destroying everything in its way. These diminutive creatures, which measure only 26 inches on average in length, have powerful jaws, short barrel-shaped bodies, dark hair with sporadic white spots over the chest, and a propensity for attacking other members of their own species. When these often lonely animals congregate to eat, biting and shrieking are frequent, but the Tasmanian devil currently faces the greatest threat from a viral malignancy called a devil facial tumor. To assist the species survive, conservation initiatives are being made. Platypus. The platypus, which is considered to be everyone's favorite outcast and maybe the oddest animal on the planet, is unique to Australia. They are one of the rare mammals that lay eggs and have webbed feet, duck-like bills, and beaver-like tails. When not searching for shellfish and shrimp, platypuses bury themselves in riverbanks. On their rear legs, males additionally have venomous barbs that are only active during mating season. Although its poison is not fatal to humans, it nonetheless causes excruciating pain. One of the first scientists to investigate this adorable oddity believed the animal was a fraud because of all of these strange facts and their peculiar appearance. Echidna. Only two species of monotreme, or egg-laying mammal, are known to exist. The platypus is the one that is most well-known. The echidna, which is spiky but adorable, is less well-known. Echidnas are quite adorable, and their young are known as puggles and have no teeth. Being barely a foot to a foot and a half long, they resemble little porcupines. 
They have long, sticky tongues that make it simple for them to devour ants and termites, and they have a keen sense of smell that helps them locate their meal of bugs. They roll into a ball to display their spines when confronted by foxes, dingoes, or feral cats, which makes them challenging to eat. They haven't changed since the Paleolithic period and can be found all over Australia. Dingo. Try your hardest not to pet the ruddy, golden yellow canines roaming Australia. Although dingoes resemble charming dogs, they are undoubtedly wild animals. Although the majority of them are tawny in color, dingoes that live in the forest will really have dark coats with tan markings, and only a very tiny number of them dwell in the alpine zone where they have creamy, light-colored coats. Although they typically hunt alone, dingoes can hunt in gangs of up to 10 with young or younglings. Although they can eat anything, dingoes are mostly carnivores and cannot bark. Instead, they communicate by howling. Wallabies, rabbits, rodents, magpie geese, and other animals are among their targets, but groups of them have been seen to attack kangaroos. Even dingoes eating babies has been mentioned in stories. As a result of their high population and reputation as pests, a 3,400-mile-long barrier known as the Dingo Fence was constructed to safeguard sheep flocks in the early 20th century. Emu Emus are the third-largest living bird in Australia, behind the southern cassowary and ostrich, and the second-tallest living bird in the world, standing at an impressive six feet tall. While females stray, guys sit on their stunning blue-green eggs for eight weeks. These remarkable birds, who can run at speeds of up to 30 miles per hour and consume anything from plants and insects to small lizards and rodents, defeated Australian and British veterans who were armed with Lewis rifles, the dominant automatic rifle of the day, in the Great Emu War. Sugar Glider This tiny mammal is cuter than a koala and has a better disposition. The unusual Sugar Glider possesses opposable thumbs and four digits on its hands and feet, lives in a colony with 20 to 40 other sugar gliders, and can fly over 150 feet thanks to the wing-like skin that extends from its front legs to its back. Including their long, fluffy tails, sugar gliders only reach a maximum length of roughly 25 inches and weigh between 3 and 5 ounces. In some areas of Australia and the US, they are occasionally kept as pets. Huntsman Spider This specific spider like hiding behind draperies, beneath refrigerators, under toilet seats, behind drawers, and essentially anywhere small and likely to give you the creeps. Although the huntsman spider prefers to stay at home, it is absolutely non-lethal. They literally are gigantic cowards. The majority of them only reach a leg span of 5 inches, but they can reach up to 12 inches, and they are much more likely to escape than to bite. Although they can bite people, it isn't seen as hazardous. Quoll. The smallest of the quoll species found in Australia, this little spotted mammal is listed as an endangered species. All quolls are carnivorous, despite the tiger quoll being almost twice as big as the northern spotted quoll. Only in Australia can you find quolls, and the word quoll is aboriginal. Although all quoll species are adept climbers and the smaller quolls are frequently seen in trees, the males die very shortly after breeding season, making it simple for fox and other predators to hunt and eat the young. To preserve their population, there has been discussion about allowing quolls to be kept as pets. Frilled Lizard There's a good reason why this lizard is a member of the dragon family. A frilled lizard can intimidate a predator by growing to be around 3 feet long and having a stunning frill around their neck. Fortunately, these lizards are relatively harmless. Aussies affectionately refer to them as frillies, even though the only threat they pose is a startle. Even though they can stand on their rear feet with their frills up and their mouths open to show their pointed fangs, they mainly use camouflage to protect themselves, making it challenging to even identify one. However, wait it out if you startle a frilly and it pops up. The lizard will make a wild, shaky spin and flee on its back legs. Cassowary A single glance at a cassowary will instantly transport you back to the primordial era. These very territorial and combative birds can reach top speeds of roughly 30 miles per hour and have a distinctive horn-like protrusion on the crowns of their heads, known as a cask. As if that weren't enough, cassowaries also have three toes with long, sharp claws and a nearly five-foot vertical jump. Although they mostly consume fruits and berries, these birds are herbivores and will also pursue mice, lizards, and other small animals. 
Because men sit on a clutch of eggs to incubate them and subsequently rear the chicks, females are larger and more colorful than males. These are but a few of the exotic creatures of the oceanic continent. Keep your eye peeled for even more beautiful creatures. Thank you for watching, follow for more.